Hi, I'm Joey Kidney, and I will admit that I watched Netflix's Love is Blind. I did. I did. And I watch a show because I create content about relationships and, and love. And the show is this modern take on the process of finding your person. For those of you who don't know, Love is Blind is a reality dating show where contestants are placed into a male group and a female group. The groups are then introduced to the pods dating. The pods, as they are called, are these rooms where walls separate the male contestants and the female contestants. The contestants can hear one another, but they cannot see each other. They can't even see the shadows. Then the contestants are given notebooks, and on each day they narrow down their choices after talking to them and having these dates with the 15 other contestants. The goal is to end the pod's experience with a proposal of marriage. Yes, without seeing the person. Hence the show's name, Love is Blind. The current season ended with five marriage proposals. And then what Netflix does is they take the engaged couples to a resort for this mock honeymoon, their first opportunity to experience life with one another and every aspect of life. The couples are then introduced to the other couples and they may meet somebody that they rejected in the pods or maybe meet somebody that was one of their final two. Then the couples return to their actual lives and they live in each other's homes, meet their friends, meet their family and experience what we in the relationship world call real life. <laughs> the show will inch towards the wedding day where the couple will say, I do, or I don't. And in this season, we had three couples say, I don't, before the altar. And I couldn't help but think, is clout running this experiment? Is the fame and the money, is that all people are there for? Natalie and Depti, who are from season two of Love is Blind, are quoted as saying they have both grossed over a million dollars since appearing on the show. And here's the kick. Neither of them said yes or are engaged or married to that person. And now Love is Blind is on season six, and the applicants are aware of the aftermath of the show. They are aware that you can get famous, you can get money, and you can get a lot of followers while doing it. So I ask you, is love truly blinded by clout, money, and fame? And my answer is twofold. For the women on Love is Blind, both AD and Chelsea are quoted as saying, I wanted to experience the experiment and keep that as pure as possible. For the men, none of the male contestants are quoted as wanted to experience the entire experiment, or they were there for the love. I know some mentioned that they were excited to date in the pods, but not many talked about getting married. Matthew mentioned fame as well as Clay and Trevor. Three of the male contestants had relationships before, during, and after filming. And Jeremy, with an A, I still can't, I, could, I couldn't get over that, was allegedly engaged 10 days prior to filling out the application. I want to know who gave him that breakup advice. And then Trevor, big macho man, also allegedly had a girlfriend the entire time of filming the show and either gaslit her or us that he loved her. And then we have Matthew, the famous Matthew. He was caught repeating speeches, asked both women to leave with him. And then out of the blue, everyone's talking about how Kenneth's cousin came into an, an Instagram post and wrote that her cousin was not into women and on the show for the wrong reasons. Hmm. And fun fact, he was on the Kelly Clarkson show two years ago. So what are we doing? And then to add more to the fire, Netflix now has this show called Perfect Match. It's like their star show. And many of the Love is Blind contestants appear on it. So does Netflix want contestants to find love? Or do they want them to say no to continue into the dating world? For the viewer, this is almost too much. I can't handle it. And I don't even have an EpiPen to deal with all the tea, drama, and lies that are being spilled. And once these people are uncaged by Netflix, and the tea starts spilling, they each want to keep their 15 minutes of fame. And then the content of this is what you didn't see on TV starts flowing out. And you know, this is where I come in. Hi, my name is Joey. I had made dating and advice videos on YouTube since 2014 until 2020. And then I took a break, but I'm back now. Because love is blind caused your boy to unretire and jump into this mess. Now, I won't lie. I was entertained. It, that's what the show is. But the entire time I felt like rolling my eyes. The entire time I felt like I wanted to experience somebody fall in love and not just be one couple. It felt like I was playing like the imposter game on Love is Blind. But so now let's jump into it. Let's start off with Trevor. Trevor, the comments went from we must protect this man at all costs to it's okay, Trevor, if you leave now, we're done with you. 
Man, I saw the sweat beating down that man's face and I was sweating at home. First of all, we love a toxic character on a reality dating show, but that person must be single. That's like the, the, the only criteria. You can't be on TV professing your love to someone and then texting someone else a week later, I still love you and I can't wait to see you. Make it make sense. Trevor, I think it's simple. You owe us the man that you were supposed to be. So just do better. Jeremy. Okay, you had an alleged girlfriend or fiance. You then got engaged to Laura. And then what was like a week later? You go out and meet the girl you said no to. And you can't figure out the location feature on your phone and your watch. For all the men out there, Jeremy, we thank you. We don't. We now have to turn on our locations when we use the goddamn bathroom, thanks to you. You did that. And I have one more person to talk about, and then I'm going to wrap it up. And I don't know if that should be Clay, Jimmy, Kenneth, or Matthew, but men, when you are going on a dating show, clean up your life first. Maybe just give it a nice little Instagram scroll. Maybe delete a few tweets. We see you. The internet FBI agents are going to find you. Your family members, your ex-girlfriends from kindergarten, a man your mom dated in high school, and we will. Know all, see all, hear all. It's terrifying, but it's true. Your lies, they're just not safe in the nicest way possible. Figure your shit out and then apply to be on an international dating show. So here's my advice on love is blind and are they blinded by clout, money, and fame. My advice is you messed up and we see you. And if we see you, she sees you. So go on a show to find love, do the experiment, and don't worry about the money, the fame, or the clout. The internet loves authenticity, and all of that stuff will come. Jeremy, you almost went backwards in life with the Ace Ventura Hawaiian shirt. Alrighty then. And my advice for the ladies? Ladies, you just deserve better. Chelsea, I deep dive your Instagram account, and I went back to like day one. You always had a smile on your face until 2020. You looked like you always had fun, self-confidence, and something took your light away. Find it, bring it back, and realize that no guy will do that for you. Only you can. Brittany, it's pretty simple. You deserve your person, and Kenneth is not your person. Apple is Kenneth's person. His phone is his person, so let him be. You deserve better. Laura, you scare me. No, but like, seriously, you scare me. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> AD, you do not need a man to complete you. You are complete. So find a partner who just enhances that, enhances what you have. Sarah Ann. <laughs> I can't trust somebody who has their first and middle name as their name. I just... And lastly, Jessica. Oh, please don't fall into the reality TV trap. You can do better than a boyfriend from a reality TV show. You also do not need anyone. And really the only two that I haven't talked about and I was going to skip are Amy and Johnny. You did everything right. But when we think about this clout, this money, this fame, this reality experiment and experience and entertainment, you ended up being boring <laughs> because you actually did it. So I thank you, but maybe next time just I'd like 13% more drama, just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. But I'm genuinely happy for you. I think that well, it felt true on our end. So in conclusion, is love truly blind? No, no, it's not, not at all. Is love blinded by fame, clout, and money? Yes and no. Do I, Joey Kidney, know what I am speaking about? Yes and no. I'm also hearing that Love is Blind is currently filming in Minneapolis. So I hope we're gonna get like some cold weather drama. Being a Canadian, I wanna see, I wanna see a hockey player. I wanna see a blizzard. I wanna see, <laughs> the dates in snowsuits instead of bikinis and board shorts. I could literally never be on the show. Like, I couldn't even imagine Trevor, like, sitting there and taking all that heat. Look how friggin' red my face is just talking about somebody else. So I thank you for watching. And if anyone's out there looking for love, the only thing you have to remember is to stay you.